When you first scan a website, you're targeting its login page. And once you uncover the login page, you'll be typing away as a script kitty to try out all possible combinations of usernames and passwords. But typically, within three to five tries, you realize that you get blocked out. And what happened next is your IP address get locked. And next thing you know, the police knocks onto your door and you get arrested. The downside of that is that you can no longer see Mr. Hackaloy's video. And we don't want that to happen. However, no worries. Mr. Hackaloy is here to save the day. What we need to do then is to find out is there a separate authentication path into the website so that we can ultimately pull off and exfiltrate all those different data on the back end? And the answer is yes. This is because more and more of these applications and websites develop a separate authentication path into their application programming interfaces that allow us a separate path to throwing all these different usernames and passwords into its authentication system, possibly without the retry limit. Are you ready to learn? Are you ready to be as smart as Mr. Hackaloy? If you do, smash the like button and turn on notification so that you don't get hacked too. <laughs> The first thing you do when you hit a website is you'll begin scanning the website looking for a different type of pages that are available that you can target. I mean, we're not here for online shopping. So you'll be looking out for pages like, for example, API. All right, so this could be potentially a path for us to inject usernames, to inject passwords, so that we can supply all these different credentials and see which one get a hit. And for today's case, we'll be going to target an xmlrpc.php which is available for a lot of this WordPress website. And WordPress is a content management system that is deployed widely across the internet, which allow us the ability to test them out really quickly. And before we jump into the demonstration, remember kids, hacking is illegal. And if you get caught hacking, do not tell them you know who's Mr. Hacker Loy. And at the same time, I know you want to test this out. Please do not go to loyliangyang.com slash xmrrpc.php to test out all these different type of exposed passwords and usernames on my website. Okay, sure, go ahead, try it out on my website and I can lock your IP address. I'll know where you stay. I'll know everything about you within a few minutes of that try. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, not really. So right in front of us, we're on Kyle Linux, which is going to be our ethical hacking and penetration testing operating system. And this is going to be our best friend for today's tutorial. And right in front of us, we are on a website. This is a WordPress content management system website that we are targeting. And of course, in this case, its IP address is 192.168.0.101. So the first thing we can do is go ahead and scan the website, looking out for potential places or pages that we can target. So in this case, I can go ahead and enter Nikto followed by dash host, HTTP 192.168. 0.101 for a slash WordPress. And of course, in the real world, you'll be scanning loyliangyang.com. Go ahead and hit enter on that. And you can see right here, we are scanning. So this is a direct scan against the website so that we can understand what are the service versions, what are the potential libraries, plugins, and whatnot that could be installed directly on this website that we can target. So several interesting pages that we have discovered. So in this case, we have xmlrpc.php was found. We also have the wp-login, which is the admin login page that was found. All right, and of course, we understand that this is a WordPress installation was found too. And going back to the website, if I go ahead and enter the following of slash WordPress xmlrpc.php, I hit enter on that, it states the following right here. XMLRPC server accepts post requests only. And what we can do next is go ahead and tamper with our HTTP request so that we're sending a post directly into XMLRPC. So the first thing I can do is go ahead and enter Burp Suite. So we're launching Burp Suite to be our interceptor. So this is going to be our proxy server where it allow us the ability to intercept all these requests that are heading towards the target server. So in this case, we're starting up the Burp Suite Community Edition right here. And you can go under the proxy tab and see that intercept is on. Next up, you need to go back to the browser, go to the top right corner and go ahead and set the Burp Suite as the proxy. And once you're ready, go ahead and hit enter again. And you can see the interception right here directly in Burp Suite. So from here, we can see the following of get WordPress xmlrpc.php. I can do a right click and I can send this over to repeater because what we are trying to do here is to think about how can we tamper with the HTTP request so that we get a list of potential method calls against the WordPress system. And there are two parts to XML RPC for our understanding. One is XML itself is a format. So this is how we are going to be using the format of exchanging data. And the second part to this is called remote procedure call. So this allows us to send remote instructions over into the target server so that we can make it do things. And this is literally like a TV remote control. So going back to Kyle Linux right now, we need to change things up a little bit. So I need to change the HTTP method over into post so instead of get. So this is the requirement for us to communicate with XMLRPC.php. 
Next up, what you need to do is to go all the way to the bottom of the HTTP request and have the following XML version 1.0 method call system.list method. So we want to see what are the methods available for us to call over in the target system. So in this case, we have the following available methods. So we have multi-call, list methods, get capabilities, demo.add two numbers, and so on. So all these are the available method calls for us to remotely call and communicate with the target system. And for today's case, we're going to be focusing on the method call of meta web block get users blocks. So right here, you can see that we've changed up the HTTP request method to meta web block get users blocks, followed by three values. So one admin and the third value is the password. So we do not know exactly what is the password of the username. So in this case, what we're trying to do is to send it over and see what is the response coming in from the site. So if I go ahead and click send in three, two, one, I click send. You can see right at the response at the bottom is this the following bad login pass combination. So we did not get the login pass combination right, which is why there is this response. I know what you're thinking. How did I know what is the username of the website? So typically admin, administrator, this could be the potential usernames as part of a WordPress content management system that is set up at the initial stage. At the same time, we can also use other tools to help us enumerate the list of users. So what we can do now is to enumerate the users using the blue P scan. And I entered the following of URL HTTP 192.168.0.101 slash WordPress dash dash enumerate you hit enter on that. And now we're running the WordPress security scanner to see what other users that's available for us to target. So in this case, you can see the following that we have the users identify of admin jumping back to burp suite. I can go ahead and do a right click of repeater and send to intruder. And once I'm done with that, what we can do now is to do the brute force attack. I can clear all this automatic variables and I can select the password as the one that we will have varying values on. So I go ahead and click add on this. I go under payloads. And once you're here, what we can do is either load those previously exposed passwords or commonly used passwords as part of running our brute force attack. So I can go ahead and click on load. And right here under USR, sharing word list, we have the common passwords.txt, double clicked on that. And you can see right here, we have some of this different type of common passwords that I can use. And once you're ready, go ahead and click start attack on the top right corner, click OK. And you can see right here, we are now launching the attack against the site. And I think we got a hit. Let's pause it right here. We have the following of 934 as the length response, which is very different from the rest of the other responses. Go ahead and click onto the requests. And we can see right here, we have the post, all right, and then we have the response. In this case, we got a good response. Is admin, all right, URL, HTTP 192.168.0.101 slash WordPress. Now going back to the website, we want to target a login page. And of course you can go to wp-admin or wp-login.php. But of course in our case, that's even a hyperlink for us. Click onto login and right here, you can enter admin, follow the password admin, click login, and boom, we are in, it's game over.